On this video, I'm going to discuss the challenges you will face as a broiler producer, most especially if you are new on the business and how you can break even. These challenges is not peculiar to new broiler farmer, but sometimes it also affects even the old farmers. I will give ways to control them based on my experience after raising 1000 umbrellas. Mind you, these challenges are not limited to the ones I listed. What's up my people? Welcome to Life of a Farmer Love. You can also follow me on my Facebook page at Life of a Farmer Love for regular updates. I remain your uncle Ishokri of Okiroye. You can call me Ovarans. On this channel, we discuss farming in details, challenges faced by farmers and how to control them. For this reason, ensure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss important upload like this one. Give this video a like, comment and most importantly, share for others to benefit. Without wasting your time, let's dive into the main cocoa. Brella farming or brella production is a very lucrative business. But just like every other businesses, it has its own up and down. If you are able to understand it, you will make good profit from it. The first point is to understand the broiler market. The idea is not just carrying broilers weekly or monthly, but monitor the market. I, for instance, I always target when the prices of day old chicks are cheap. This is a major determinant to your profit, which most broiler farmers don't know. This is because the prices of day old chicks fluctuates daily. It may rise today and drop the next day within a week. If you buy your chicks at a high price, it will be difficult for you to sell because by then the new price increase haven't circulated in the market. For this reason, the buyers will price your bets with the old price. So most times, once there is rapid increase in prices of the old chicks, I always wait to make sure the price circulates before I make my bookings. For instance, farmer A that bought the old chicks for 530 naira on Monday will make more profit than farmer B that bought the old chicks for 750 naira on Thursday of the same week. Always wait for the new high prices to circulate because if you carry beds which the price is high, most of this buyer will detect the price using the old amount. But once the new price has circulated, it won't be a problem because everybody now understands that the price of the old chicks is high. The second challenge is feed. Feed accounts for 70 to 80% of total cost of production in broiler farming. And on this, I have two advice for you. The first one is to carry what you can feed conveniently. This is because if you carry excess broilers, they, the broilers, don't know your pocket. They will keep on eating and eating. And once they are not fed properly, you will have runt and end up running at loss. If it's 50 or 100 you can feed conveniently, I would advise you to start with that. The second challenge about feed is to get all your feed you intend to use for the period of raising broilers, usually between five to eight weeks. Do not say you are expecting money by the third week, so you will book for 500 beds, hoping that by that third week, once the money arrives, you will then buy the balance feed. This is a huge mistake, and you are likely going to run at loss. This is why I said carry what you can feed conveniently. Another area most broilers farmers don't pay much attention to, which is a large portion of their profit and increase their cost of production, is feed wastage. You must try everything possible to reduce feed wastage because, just like I said earlier, feed accounts for 70 to 80 percent total cost of production in broilers farming. Avoid feed spillage on the floor. This is mostly attributed to the type of feeders you are using. I have a video about the best feeders to use to reduce feed wastage, which you can watch with the link above. I will also drop the link in the description box. Do well to check it out. 
So farmers will say, if the feed spills on the ground, the birds will scratch them up and eat them later. Truth be told, not all the feed will be able to be picked up by the birds, and most of this feed will have been trampled upon. Moreover, this is another means of picking up disease-causing organisms in the bed system as it will increase the bacterial load in the digestive tract. The last but not the least is the market. Before you carry brellas, be sure of the market. Do you have buyers for 5 weeks, 6 weeks, 7 weeks or 8 weeks brellas? If you don't have the market and just because people are raising brellas and selling for festive period and you decide to join the trend, you might end up consuming your beds or giving them out at lesser price. I remember during the Xmas period, there is this man I always meet whenever I went to pick up wood shavings from the sawmill and we always fight over wood shavings. After Xmas and New Year celebration, the man couldn't sell his brellas and when we met on the road, he was crying bitterly saying god forbid is this how the business is how do you guys even make profit and still continue this business he said a whole lot of things and i was just laughing he couldn't sell his beds secondly they were dying and lots more i have to scold him and he was happy about the information i shared with him then another thing in most cases don't wait to sell all your brellas at once on clicking five weeks, sell off the bigger ones, and this will create room and space and even more feed for the smaller ones to grow to meet the expected weight at six weeks. At six weeks, you sell again. At seven weeks, you sell again, so on and so forth. And before you know it, you have lesser stock and feed will still be available for the remaining ones. I believe you've gotten something tangible from this video. So help me to grow my channel by subscribing. Turn on the bell icon so you don't miss subsequent upload. Give this video a like, comment and most importantly, share for others to benefit. Thanks and God bless. See you in my next video. Peace out.